what's up what's up what's up hello y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it is your girl night clean and i'm back with another video yay everybody should be happy because y'all miss me so much yay i'm just gonna guess that y'all miss me and y'all applauding because i'm back anyways been a while it's been a minute and um i have a lot to unfold a lot to talk about a lot to do and i feel like i've been so mia with my whole content thing that like nobody knows anything like i'm just a complete stranger all over again and um not to mention that i deleted all of my content after going through like a overwhelming episode and um i just went deleting everything so that makes it 10 times worse for my new subscribers that are on here that are like who is this girl who thought it was only right that i give you guys another intro but this time like an in-depth intro hello y'all i'm anaya kalina middle name anaya first name kalina i just switched it around because i think i'm different i started my youtube i want to say 2022 like at the end of 2022 and um i have bought my camera it's always been something that i've always wanted to do I just did not have the confidence for confidence for it, and I also didn't think there was anything special about me that people would want to watch until people started watching. And um, I've always wanted to start doing content, so like that's like YouTube things, like YouTube, TikTok, shoe hauls, clothing hauls, all kind of different stuff. So I just didn't have the confidence in myself to do so, so I didn't. But then 2022 came around. I think I worked really really extra hard i think i got like a second job and then i started um it started paying well and i think i was like on the verge of graduating high school and i bought my first camera and then i got started i'm a gemini i don't know if that matters i'm not big on horoscopes but i am a gemini my birthday is june 2nd i am currently 20 years old and i live in houston texas I'm very open-minded i'm a girl's girl always um a lot of the content that y'all see, so most of the times I'll either be talking about God or I'll be doing Bible study or I'm like in my own relationship to God. So um, every now and then you'll see like little clips of me reading my Bible or talking about it because I don't know, something like when I talk about it, it gets me going. Like it makes me want to keep talking, keep talking. So I mean, I am a twin. I have a twin brother. I am the only girl out of three boys. I have an older brother, a youngest, and a twin. Um, so like, I'm not gonna say I have only kid syndrome, but I definitely have like only girl, get what I want, spoiled brat, like I definitely have that syndrome bad. Um, I'm very emotional, very sensitive. I cry for everything. Any, no matter what's going on, my first reaction is gonna be to cry. Like no matter what it is, angry, mad, happy, tears are gonna flow out. And um, that's just something you guys should know about me. Just in case I keep saying like, I would never cry on social media, I would never cry on camera. But you never know, because I'm super, super emotional. I'm so, like, I have like a lash in the corner and it's bothering me so bad, but that's besides the point. When it comes to explaining me and who I am, it's kind of hard. Like, you just got to keep watching me to kind of get who I am. Like, I like going out to like cafes, picnics, museums. Like, I'm not going out drinking, party, and clubbing. I'm like the other going out, if that makes sense. But I barely do go out. I do enjoy the company of myself and I enjoy being in my bed and being peaceful. I feel like every time that I step out, like I'm always giving others opportunities to disrupt my peace any way, shape, or form. And that's the same way I feel when I pick up the phone when people call. Like I feel like I'm giving them that lead way to disrupt my peace. So I'd rather be alone and I'd rather just stay to myself. Today, guys, I wanted, well, not today, it's literally nighttime. It's 11 o'clock p.m. But, um, I'm up, so why not? And I'm just a girl, so I like did my hair and stuff because I don't know why. But yeah, so uh, I did get a package from Sheen, and I wanted to give you guys a clothing haul. So that is what we're going to be doing tonight. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more chit chat with you guys, sit and talk, because that's just what I do. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Oh, and then I also wanted to show you guys my recent pickups from Walmart. I think we went to Walmart. Yeah, I'm going to show you my recent pickups from Walmart as well as the Sheen haul. And then I think that'll be all for the video. Um, like I said, we're going to chit chat and talk almost the whole way. So, hope you guys enjoy. And I hope my intro wasn't too long, but I hope y'all vibing with me. Like, that's all I'm saying. I hope y'all vibing with me. Y'all don't even understand how much this is hurting. Like, dude, 
I feel like something is stabbing me in the eye, but I don't want to take them out because they're so cute and look so natural. Okay, so for the first thing I wanted to show you guys, I wanted to show you guys the things that I got from Walmart, and I have them all here. So, so the first thing I got was the Method Body um, and the Pure Peace Rose Water Pink Sea Salt um, Body Wash. Um, I've been looking everywhere, so. What you guys are going to get to know about me is that I'm a pink girl to the day that I die. So I love pink. Like, I'm not going like, to have a decked out house of pink, but I do prefer the color pink. If you're going to give me something, get it in pink. You know, like, I love the color pink. I love the color pink. So I've been looking everywhere for this, and my homegirl, Zarya, that's y'all going to meet her because one day we're going to go out and I'm going to vlog us. I only met her in the span of this year, but like, I feel so connected to her. Sorry I had this and I've been looking everywhere for it. And I was like, tell her like, I couldn't find it, I couldn't find it. So I went to Walmart and I finally found it. Well, the one thing that I do love about the Method Body Body Wash is that it's plant-based. It smells good. It makes you feel good. Me personally, I like, when I try certain things, my skin reacts to them differently. So like when I try other body washes, sometimes my back knee will get bad or like the dark spots on my arms. But then when I started using Method Body, and I used the cucumber one. The last one I used was the green cucumber one, and it worked perfectly fine. But I wanted to try the scent rose, the um, the rose water pink sea salt one. It smells good, and I wanted to try it. And so I finally found it. I also got the body cream. Um, it's like I don't know if y'all seen the body cream. It's called like um, boom boom or, or something like that. But like they're everywhere, and it comes with a spray bottle. So I don't want to say this is a it's not a knockoff it's like the same kind of it's like the same kind of setup but it's a whole nother thing so it's vitamin c and the cream i kind of punched a hole in it just so it could come out that way it smells really good it kind of reminds me of like remember when we were younger getting ready for school and our mom would get the amino lotion and just like smother it on our face like that's what the smell kind of reminds me of at least my skin real smooth and I used it today when I got out the shower and my man loved it. Like he thought I smelled so good. Like 10 out of 10 on the skin and 10 out of 10 on the skin. I also picked up the TheraBreath. And I have this one, but I have the green bottle. And this one is like, I guess it's a white, yeah, it's a whitening and fresh breath. So my smile is fine, but sometimes when you have braces, the braces get like, it's just, I don't know, like I would like my for my smile to be a little bit wider and I plan on getting these off so I ran out of the other one and I was going to get the green one but then I came across this one and it was sparkly. So because it was sparkly I picked it up. Do not judge my judgment please but yeah, I haven't used it yet but um, because it was sparkly I picked it up. Yes I did. Then I also got these lavender eye gel. Um... You know, like for hydrating under eye patches. And I got like four of these. Um, yeah, I got like four of these. This is down to my last one. But um, yeah, you know what the under eye patches are for. My eyes just seem to be puffy. I've been working a lot. And as some of you already know or don't or may get to know, I currently work two jobs while going to school. And so sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming and sometimes it can be way too much. So sleep is not like on my side, like I sleep when I can and that's it. So I noticed that I was getting really bad under under eye bags and like dark, dark circles. So I started using these as well as like these other pink ones, Hello Kitty ones, but I ran out. So then I got these and I don't know, something about the lavender and their, hyd and their hydrogel pads. So they're really cold and they have like a lot of the serum on it. It stays inside your skin and it like refreshes you and it just feels amazing. You guys know how I showed you this for the skin like the barbaria vitamin c i also got the vitamin c serum for your skin for your face so i struggle with acne and <clears throat> i was struck i would i don't want to say i struggle with acne because it's off and on but i struggled with acne for so long and i got my skin super clear and then um when i moved to houston it started flaring up again but then i got it like to go away we currently had um, a hurricane, which caused the power to go out, which caused the house to be hot and humid. So when I would wake up, I would sweat and all the product from my hair, like it just broke me out really, really bad. And I've been trying to figure out what to do, what to do, what to do. So 
I have my Cetaphil already. You guys already know. I was using Curology, but um, I went back to Cetaphil. So, Curology did help a lot, though. But now I'm back on my Cetaphil. Um, so, then I got this because I my face wasn't, like, hydrated. Like, I would do it. And then I, sometimes, I think I have the Cetaphil or the... Um, what is it called like the moisturizer but it just wasn't given what it needs to be gave so here is the barbaria vitamin c serum moisturizing serum and it's for the skin and i'll show you guys what it looks like hold on so yeah it's it definitely works um once i put it on my face it's hydrated throughout the whole day it feels good it feels fresh and it smells good so like I just get a win-win all around. And let's get into the sheen haul because that's really what I'm excited for. We like a little box of things. And I think I got some accessories. I got some heels. And some Like I just was being a girl. Like half of the stuff I either didn't need or I just was like, oh, this is cute. I'm just going to buy it. Like, I was just being a girl. So I don't really plan on going anywhere. But I have clothes just in case I do. I promised Trevor that I was going to give him his own haul. So like. I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a haul at the same time recording everything for him. This is what we got. And yeah. truth is i just laid down and was damn near this close to sleeping and i haven't cleaned up anything and that's the truth i'm not gonna i'm gonna talk to you guys in the morning and we'll do this in the morning
to be almost that time for me to head out to work so we're just gonna touch up my hair a little bit get dressed and leave it itches so bad I don't want to be patting my head at work because it looks really ghetto I don't have like a big platform and everybody's like oh where is she where is she but the few people that do follow me like you guys follow me to get content out of me and then I went MIA um, just dealing with my own problems, my own issues, um, learning how to balance my life versus social media, learning, um, to manage what I need versus what I want, learning to, you know, protect my own peace at all costs, just learning and growing, and the best way to learn and grow is off camera, so... That's why, you know, I'm here and then I'm not here. I'm here and then I'm here, not here. I've been meaning to upload videos. And whether you guys believe it or not, I actually filmed a lot of videos. But because I've been gone so long, I wanted the videos to be like, how do I explain it? Like, if I was making a video, I needed it to, I needed the comeback to be great. Like, I... So I needed to come back strong and I felt like, you know, the videos that I was about to drop weren't really strong comebacks. Um, honestly speaking, the first few videos that I was going to drop um, were just the regular things that you guys have seen me do before, like my get ready with me's and, and all that kind of stuff. I ended up falling out with my best friend. And um, it was like real painful and I talk a lot. That's how I get over things. I talk about it. So with being in California, I mean, being in Houston, Texas and like kind of being isolated, you kind of don't talk about things. You kind of just deal with them. So I opened up my camera and I did a story time about it. I said some good things. I said some bad things, but I felt like that wasn't a good video to put out. I felt like it was messy. I'm not saying shine in the light, but I feel like as a comeback video, I don't think the best route is me falling out with my best friend. Like, me, like no, it should be about me, about my growth, about who I am, who I'm becoming, things like that in the best way, shape, or form. So I deleted that video and I never uploaded it because I felt like it was low-key messy because it's like your comeback video is about, like, you know, it was just messy. So that was a no-go. I deleted that one. Um, then I made just a quick like nighttime routine one, but that one also didn't get, um, that one also never aired simply because I just didn't like the content that I was putting out. I honestly feel like I was giving you guys half-assed content, so that's basically what that part was. Um, so yeah, so like I was saying, so that's all that was. Like I felt like the content that I was putting out was like just really half-assed and then so I just I just didn't put it out because I felt like I was doing a poor job and it was just a no-go for me honestly all around but for the most part during this isolation phase and during this time that I have been not doing any content I have been like figuring out so many things about myself I have been in a better headspace mentally um I have my ups and downs in my days where I just feel like I can take it but overall like I am 
growing, I'm becoming a far more better person. I'm so much more happier, like, and sometimes I don't show it as much, but all glory to God, because I wouldn't be anywhere, I wouldn't be nothing if it wasn't for him. But I felt like this was a really cute video just to put out for the moment, give you guys like a, hey, I'm still here and just work with me. Um, I hope this video brings out to a peace, love, and new subscribers. Um, for the most part, I am very, very, very content, very happy. I wouldn't have it any other way. Um, yeah, that's really all. Um, I will definitely check back in with you guys. I want to say I'm going to upload again next week, but I might do double uploads. So I might upload again <clears throat> on Sunday for a Sunday reset, but I think I'm working both jobs Sunday, so I'm not trying to overwhelm myself too much. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another video, a long-awaited video. That's all I have to say. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Your girl is out.